Hi there. In this video, I'm going to give you a, uh, an, an introduction into the dashboard. This will actually include the creation of a web map as well. So there'll be a, be a bit about creating a web map and um, uploading a bit of data. But I'm ma mainly going to be focusing on the dashboard and it'll be a good overview for you uh, to get going with your own dashboard uh, requirements. Of course, there's many different dashboard solutions out there. Uh, Power BI, Tableau, Click and others. Um, but the ArcGIS Online dashboard can still play a you know, real crucial role um, in your organization as it, as it is, of course, map centric. That's the, the key thing. So there's definitely a place for it, even when there's more um, sophisticated dashboard tools uh, within your organization. So what we've got here is I've created a folder. That's what that plus button is there, create new folder. Call it dashboard demo. And the first thing I'll do is I will add an item. <clears throat> so add from the computer and I will go straight to the folder. called DC Buildings and it's a zip file. So DC Buildings is a zip file containing a uh, shapefile. See how it's automatically recognized it. Um, DC Buildings, District of Columbia Buildings, they're outlines from the um, open Microsoft uh, data set of buildings in the US. So I've just taken a small subset of uh, from DC, Washington DC. Um, in, the, in that area. So I'll put a tag, I'll just put demo in buildings. Um, and I'll publish it straight away as a hosted layer. I'll be doing more on um, uploading data and just getting data into ArcGIS Online uh, in, a, in another video and uh, sort of more about it. But in this, this scenario, I just want to get straight into the dashboard really. So you can see a thumbnail there, and you can see how um, we've got um, all, the, all the sort of building outlines there. Uh, and like I said, another video, I'll go through this whole page and, and take you through it. But when you do a dashboard, you need a web map. So I'll click on my thumbnail because it says open in map viewer. And there you have it, is my buildings. It's just a subset. And it's gone straight away for uh, this sort of color um, value. So if I click on, so it's a thematic is what, it, is what it's done. If I click on options, I can um, uh, change the style. So I could if I just go back, um, we can select the height instead because there's a height field and we could just change the symbology a bit. There you go. So the darker the colour, the, um, the, the the higher the building. Note actually the, these height data. Um, this height data is uh, random. I calculate. I've I've put a sort of randomizer in there. These these aren't real height uh, values. You could actually easily get them. And I, and I'll and there's another video coming soon actually about height and terrain and um, those kind of data sources. So anyway, height is just a value that I want to use. Um, visible range, I'm just going to change that so I can see right down to the ground, so I can see up close. So press OK. That's my map. I'm, I'm not going to do any more than that. So there we go. So I've got this very simple map. That's all I want to do for the uh, for the time being. I'm going to click Save. I haven't saved it before, so I'm going to call that my um, demo map for dashboard. Demo and summary um, map for dashboard using uh, buildings data from DC. Um, and I'm going to save in the folder dashboard demo as well, keep it all in one place. So I'll save that. Uh, like I said, that's all I want to do here. Not not first. 
um, and that's it. So let's go back to the content. <clears throat> so, you know, so you see here now, it's um, we've got three things. We've got the web map we just created, which was uh, which uses uses data from this feature layer, which is hosted at Arches Online, i.e. at Esri. This is DC Buildings, and it all comes from a shape file that I uploaded. It was DC Buildings. So that's it. I've got my my starter now. I've got my foundation for a dashboard. A minimal amount of data. I could have a lot more layers in here, but for the moment, I'm just using that one. Okay. So now we'll um, go to dashboard. So click on these all these dots up here. Go to dashboard. There is a dashboards beta. There's um, various new sort of bits of functionality in there, etc. But we'll, we'll stick with what's released right now, which is just dashboards. It's empty. Um, haven't created any yet. Let's create a dashboard. Title. So this will be the uh, name that appears in my content list and stuff. So I'll just call it my dashboard. Tags, a summary, demo, and dashboard. So I need, um, and I'll make sure it's saved in my dashboard demo folder. It's good to keep these all sort of grouped together and uh, easier to tidy, better housekeeping. So, so you can see it's called demo dashboard, and it's empty. And it says clearly, get started by adding elements. Well, the main thing you want to do is add your map. So if you click here, plus you can see map. There's lots of others to add, and we'll do a few of them in this in this um, uh, video. We we'll won't do all of them, but we'll do a few. And then once you can see how a few are done, you know how to do the rest. Go to map, select the map I want. It's this demo map for dashboard. There's various options here to choose from um, that you can change the title and actions and stuff. But we'll, we'll leave it for for now exactly how it is and we'll come back to them so this is our dashboard and um, at the moment what is it showing well just our map what about some widgets okay then let's add uh, indicator coming and all the data the count and stuff is going to come from that layer so there's 3450 records in there at the moment as you can see on all these widgets there's lots um, lots of options colors edit titles so we could we could edit this and say total for example let's just uh, center that let's increase the font size a bit maybe a bit more yep um, you, 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 you can see what we can do here. So it's 101 things to change. Um, and um, uh, for the indicator, we can we can uh, do particular bits of formatting and we can filter the data and do other bits and bobs. Uh, but I, I just want to get this onto the screen. That's why I'm sort of rushing through this. So that's one. So this is our dashboard. Okay, not quite sure what it's doing yet, but we'll come to that. This is our total count of everything in DC, uh, of that ensemble set of buildings. Let's now add a gauge. Also coming from that same layer. Again, lots of options, lots of options, but let's just leave it, leave it at that for the moment and press done. Right, it's starting roughly to look like a simple dashboard. It's definitely got the feel of a dashboard. So let's organize the, um, uh, the, 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 this whole image a bit, the map, sorry, and the whole in, in user interface, make it a bit sort of tidier. So let's go to configure. You see where you go, you've got this sort of rectangle box in the top left, in the top left, and then you get the, these options to duplicate and configure or to drag. And that's what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to drag and just pop it in the top there. See? I'll just show you how that, that happened again. So you drag. And wherever you drag, you see how it has these icons to dock as a row, to stack, put it at the bottom, um, put it in the left-hand side as a column, that sort of thing. 
So it tells you what it's doing. Save button at the top there. Let's save what we've done so far. Um, so we've got these um, two sort of gauges here. Sorry, one gauge and this sort of counter, but it's not really doing much for us, is it? I mean, what would be really useful is as I'm looking at a map and sort of looking around and looking at stuff, it'd be useful to see these numbers change based on what I'm actually looking at. I mean, in the map view, what are the numbers? What are the statistics? Well, to do that is a, is a configure on the map window. So you go to the top left box here, click on configure, and you go to the map actions. So, and it says, when map extent changes, I want you to update the indicator. And when map ex extent changes, I also want you to update the gauge. Okay, so we set some targets here, two targets, map actions. Now look what happens. As we go in and out, it's only displaying, only counting out in these two widgets, what is it in view? Bit. So in view is that many, there's 36 building objects and I'm just showing that same number with a different um, graphic here, you know, with this gauge, there's bar charts, stack graph, you, you do what you like, do what you like you and have a play. So, but it'd be good to have a list of these objects, you know, because at the moment I'd have to click on each one of them and sort of see it, it's not too bad. But I wouldn't mind it automatically displaying what's here. Well, that is just another widget, another control, add list. What's the list from? It's from DC Buildings. So you see how this is a preview of the list. So the data, if I click on show data table, this is what the, the data table looks like. Don't worry too much about the FID and stuff. That's me sort of messing about with various random and unique bits of data and the height, like I said, is random. Um, but the area is, is correct, actually. So go back to show preview. So this is the list. You have to imagine this is my list of, of, of what be a maximum of 25 records. So it's got these this sort of symbol here, but that's not very useful. Uh, you can pre-filter the data, perhaps on a date and stuff like that. But let's just um, go to the list. So this is what it it looks like this is what whatever you put in here is what this appears at so for example we could say id and then you see this little drop down here this is where you can pick the fields so i can say id is that put a little hyphen there for no you know the height of that is that and two spaces area is that so you see how it's built up and showing the um, what your preview will look like so I could actually I know it's in meters meters so why not just put in M seven meters um, and the uh, square meters probably but uh, but, but it, there's lots of things you can do in here you can you can insert little little images and graphics and bullet points just just um, go for it really and, and do what you like um, that's for you to go away and play with. I'm just showing you how to get to these options. Uh, if I click on none, see it says line on, line on item icon, gets rid of the icon. Icon's probably superfluous. We know the polygons, we, we don't need that there. So there's a few other options there. You know, there's general and action, and we'll come to that, those in a second. But general particularly is how it all looks and, you know, colors and all this sort of thing. Let's do it done. So, Let's do a drag item. Uh, let's put it, uh, where should we put this? Put this at the bottom of the screen here. How about that? But at the moment, when we zoom in and out, these are updated on the left hand side, but these below the list is not. Okay, then what we need to do is go to configure on the map and add a new target which is our new list, it's done. And now 
you'll see this list updated down at the bottom. So if we just zoom into just a handful, well just that one in fact, um, and as we zoom out and catch sight of others you'll see the list grow at the bottom there. Probably be quite nice to have a title here, why not? We, why don't we do that? And don't forget, it'll only show a max of 25 here in that list. Let's change it to 99 just because we can. But, you know, so we can always force some kind of limit there if we want. Sometimes, you know, to have 10,000 records there is probably a bit silly. So we can we can sort that. But in general, we could change it to edit the title, which is the same kind of formatting box as we had for the list creation. And this is the title that appear at the top of this list. So we could say, like buildings. Um, how about buildings in view? Okay, something like that. I.e., on the map at the uh, in, in in map extent. That's a bit clearer, isn't it? So, um, yeah, that's buildings and map extent. There we go. Um, and and there's various other settings as I already described, text color and stuff. Um, so we will. Um, change that to blue so now they're all blue so there's that um so, so so we've done that little change there let's have a quick look at that you see so it's starting to make it look a lot prettier but i'll save it actually but what would be good is okay we're looking at this we know this uh well it's 236 let's get a smaller amount so there's about 28 records 31 records so here will be 31 as well listed but that one 3182 where is that where is this where is this well this is another action so we go to configure we go to actions and you can select more than one from this list it can be I'm, I'm, I'm keeping to single but note multiple and say when selection changes what I want you to do is um, we can zoom in the map demo map and why don't we flash it on the map do two things note there are other actions you know we can show a pop-up as if the user's clicked on it and that sort of thing i don't know mate. Well, why not why not let's have a third action well, you know press done okay now watch what happens so we're in our dashboard we're zooming about and then we click and then we click we see this in the list so rather than working from the map on the list so let's click on that one there you go see how it flashes does a little glow and it's centered the map about that one and it's shown the pop-up let's, let's click on this one highlights and shows the pop-up click on that one shows the pop-up highlights and it moved the map and zoomed to it you see you see that so we could go to configure and say well actually the pop-up is probably going overboard so let's get rid of the pop-up so now let's zoom right out and say uh, oh, what's that one one six four two that's high let's click on that and boom and there you go highlight zoom but this time no pop-up because I switched it off there you go so you can do this kind of thing with with most of the controls um, bits of bar charts and stuff have a play and, and go, go for it I think I'll just end on um, just a bit of configuring of this um, uh, map um, to just show you a sort of bit more power so I'll just save that okay so I'm just going to finish off with a bit of sort of customization of the map go to configure and you see these I'm gonna have a scale bar I'm gonna have a legend I'm gonna allow people to use it to turn on and off layers change the base map and use a search okay and I can change the sort of title and stuff I can call this um, demo using DC buildings okay now look what happens we get demo dashboard using DC buildings print at the top within the map window see how it's sort of stuck there and we've got these items now we can look at the layers, it's DC buildings, showing turn on and off. I can change the base map. Let's go to whatever that is. 
area. And I can um, see the legend. And there could be lots of layers in here, not just, I've only got one. And there's search as well, of course, normal, you know, standard search. So that's just a little bit of um, configuration of the map view. So let's, uh, let's save all that. Let's go back to my content. Let's just go back to content. So in content now, you can see dashboard. It's actually part of, uh, it's one of the items in the content. So let's click on demo dashboard. And now the link that you would you would send the user, you know, to actually, to actually see it once it's shared, you need you need to you need to share it, you need to share it for people to see it. But what they would see is this. So this is your kind of final result. There you go. Demo dashboard, I can search, I can change layers. Uh, sorry, I can change layers, I can, uh, sorry, layers on and off, I can look at the legend, I can change the base map. Do that. I can, um, uh, and use all the sort of normal tools. So click, there it is. Click here, zoom, and go. And there you have it. There is a, um, a dashboard, just a few controls, but hopefully you hopefully you get the whole idea of the dashboard. Uh, it's all about uh, lots of actions. You can have lots of controls, uh, and there's other um, sort of aspects. Uh, we'll probably go in another time because and, and build a more sophisticated one. I'll probably do a, a more sophisticated one, looking at all the different the headers and stuff, and putting a header in and changing that and some embedded content and, and bits and pieces. So I certainly will be doing another one, but hopefully that's enough to get you going straight away, even with limited knowledge of ArcGIS Online. Just upload your upload your data um, into content, get it in there. You need your web map and you don't have a web map unless you've got data to feed into it. And then when you create your dashboard, the main thing you point to is your web map, which is the main driving um, piece for your widgets and your controls and stuff. So there you go. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.